Hi guys, it's Andrew here for Tutorial Soup. In this tutorial I'm going to show you um, something slightly different to what I was going to show you before. Um, I actually promised you that I was going to show you scaling and more on Translate. Um, but instead I'm going to show you something um, quickly called... Um, I'm going to show you how to save and restore the um, canvas. Um, there will be there will be times when you want to save um, the state of a uh, canvas. Um, this may be because um, you've changed uh, colors or specific um, um, attributes. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this now. So we're going to create a rectangle fill style. So start off with the context fill style. Oops, equals RGB press that up two five five forty have this up quite high two hundred. It's just a random colour. I don't know what it's gonna be. Well, I know roughly what it's gonna be. Um I'm gonna oops. Now at this point I'm gonna save the state um, so it's pretty important to know that it's um, not the actual I'm going to draw a rectangle but it's not the actual rectangle shape that it's going to be saving it's actually um, the state um, of the object so it's going to be uh, things like the fill style so I'm going to create this here Seventy, and so if we have a look at that now, we've got a small pink square. Um, I'm going to take the red down a bit so we can change it. So put it to one hundred and five. Let's have a cool purple one. So basically, so I've saved this state here. So it saved it um, with the color purple. Um, I'm now going to create a, another um, fill style. So again, why do I do it that way? I don't know. Did that a weird way. Um, do something like that. Um, again, I'm going to save this state. Um, I'm going to move that over a little bit so it's not. Covering up the other one. So we have two rectangles there, one purple, uh, one grey. Um, now, if I now restore, restore the canvas, context restore the canvas, dot restore. Um, now, I'm going to draw another rectangle. So Got the context again. Text dot fill rectangle. So three hundred. I'm not going to give it any um, fill style now. If you can guess um, which one, which color this is going to be. Um, I'll be uh, pretty impressed. So, if I update it, you'll actually see that it's a grey colour. Actually, if I change that to 350 and 100. So, <laughs> let's move it along a little bit more. 
you'll actually see it's grey so it's actually the same style as the last rectangle and this is because um, basically it's basically the 2D rendering um, context actually saves a stack of uh, canvas states um, so this um, state here is saved and then this one's saved but this one is actually saved on top of this one so this one is actually the first uh, the first out um, so if it's the last in it's the first out so when we restore the um, the canvas uh, state here it it goes it goes back to the this one here um, if I then restore the canvas another time um, Now, hang on. Let's do fifty down. Um, fifty down. I mean, so if I put that. Well, as you can see, anyway, you can see it's the same colour as this one here. If you guessed that correctly, um, well done. So, basically, whenever you save the state, um, the last one you save gets stacked on top of the other one, and it is going to be um, it's going to be the first out. So, uh, the last in, first out. So, this one here was the purple one, and then this was the grey one. And then I restored the canvas state, so it went to the last one that went in here, um, and so drew a grey rectangle. Then I restored it for the second time. No, I don't want to do that. I don't know what that was before. Um, so anyway, and then I restored it for a second time, and then it it um, then it restored the canvas state back to this one here. So if I were to continuously save the canvas state, it would stack them up like this. Um, later on, I'm going to show you how you can um, specifically reference um, a specific canvas state. But for now, um, I just wanted to show you that because um, we're going to be using that uh, with the scale and the um, translate uh, function. Um, so uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to see um, that's it for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.